I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. I had four kids, financial issues. I had a job down at uh, the local steelworker office, which can be pretty stressful at certain times. I started to get these feelings of sadness. I've started to get these feelings of anger. Uh, I couldn't cope with what was happening. And normally I could control it with exercise, but all of a sudden, family life took over and I didn't have time to do that. I let that coping skill go by the wayside. In 2012, my mother-in-law was diagnosed uh, with terminal cancer. That was the tipping point for me. My wife needed my support and I couldn't give it to her. I started showing signs of uh, what I now know to be depression. I think some barriers to Derek getting the help that he needed early on were um, you know, the sort of stigma that is often attached to mental illness for men, and that is that they are expected to be the, the rock in the family. No, I didn't want to identify myself as having a problem. Until one day, a co-worker came up to me, and he said, I'm noticing that you don't come out with the guys anymore. I don't see you at the hockey games. Uh, you don't even eat with the guys anymore. He said, you know, I went through this a couple of years ago. He said it was a depression. He said, you know what, it was all these things that had added up into your life. It had changed the chemicals in your brain. He said, and it's not your fault. I went to the doctor, got diagnosed, and then that trip to EFAP, I think, was, the, was critical. It was probably the most important thing that I'd ever done, but it was definitely the hardest thing I'd ever done. Gord has given uh, over 35 crew talks. There's actual employees that have come to him seeking help. We know it's having uh, an impact. For a lot of people, work equals survival. And people come to work often, I think, burying some of those feelings at that, that really do have an impact on how they're functioning day to day. I've had employees come into this office and shut the door and, and thank me and our group for saving their lives. And when that occurs, I'm, I'm actually blown away by that because that, that's quite, uh, quite meaningful. Own the fact that there's something wrong. Step up to the plate, uh, identify yourself, and what I say is to own it. Get the medication if you need it and get some counseling if you need it. There's help out there. I'm glad I was able to get some through friends, colleagues, supervisors, medical professionals, because I now have a good life again, and it's worth it.